Hi everyone, it's Charlotte here today and today's video is going to be on the importance of the right bedding for your guinea pigs. Bedding is a huge topic when owning guinea pigs, no matter if you're about to buy guinea pigs or you've already got some. Now there are many many different types of bedding out there and lots of them are very much pet safe for your guinea pigs but some of them aren't and this is where the pet shops are selling sadly incorrect items and this means it can put your guinea pig's health at risk. So in this video I'm going to go over the different types and what are safe and some of the most common ones that aren't safe. So this probably isn't going to list all of the beddings that are out there because unfortunately there are so so many that it's rather hard to keep up with them but I'm going to kind of like generalise different sectors really in the beddings to kind of give you some examples of so a lot of this information I have double researched on the internet along with the Guinea Lynx website which is a fantastic website for all sorts of information about guinea pig care. So I highly recommend that anyone who does have guinea pigs or is looking to get guinea pigs to go and have a look at that website and I will leave the links to that site just down below. Now I'm going to firstly begin with paper based bedding. Now this bedding consists of a range of different brands and everything like that so one of the most common for paper based bedding is Carefresh. Now I currently use Carefresh in the kitchen area of my cage and I do really like it. The only problem I think with it, it would be the con of that it is pretty pricey but you are paying for those colours and everything like that so I'm actually looking to put my girls onto Fitch bedding which I've seen many many good reviews about it. It is very very similar to Carefresh and it is in a white colour and it is a lot lot cheaper but also it's meant to be less dusty and things like that so I'm going to have a trial of that so you may see an upcoming video with that with a trial basis but um, I will get into more information about the paper type bedding. Paper type bedding includes things like Yesterday's News, Carefresh as I've said before, uh, Megazorb. This bedding is generally very very soft and nice for your guinea pig's feet to sit on and it's also very very absorbent and is why it is quite a popular type of substrate to put your guinea pigs on. It is kind of, I would say it was better than shavings in the fact that it's nice and soft for your guinea pigs and there's no worries about the scents and everything that they put in it. It's completely odour free and it actually does have generally a lot of the brands have extra odour control. So as I've previously said these beddings are generally a little bit higher in price because of the fact they are a decent bedding type but overall Carefresh and paper bedding alike are really 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 good options for any kind of guinea pig owner. It means that you won't have to put as much care in it to, into it as you would do with fleece but also it's not as bad for the animal as shavings. So the next type of beddings are the shaving types of beddings. Now I don't have any here to show you so I'm going to have a picture up probably on the screen of some. Now there are many different types of shavings and including sawdust and the majority of them are not safe for your guinea pigs. One of the only types of actual wood shavings that are safe are aspen shavings. With the sawdust and shavings alike they can be very very dusty and any other type than aspen of shavings can cause breathing problems where they can get pneumonia and things like that and then there's skin problems which is again with fungal and that they get dryness in them. The next is eye problems, a lot of the shavings can get into their eyes and the dust and it can really really make your guinea pig ill and cause injuries and permanent eye loss. The next is ulcerated feet which is again related to skin problems, it's where because the shavings are so dry they dry out your guinea pig's feet and it can cause all sorts of sores especially when the shavings get wet and then the ammonia of the urine is mixing with the shavings, it's really really bad for your guinea pig's feet. All of those issues can actually lead to premature death in your guinea pig by having them on these shavings. Shavings such as pine is not good for them and 
cedar and other types of woods are really really bad so if you are going to get shavings please make sure that it is aspen. Aspen shavings do not include any scents or any chemicals that they've used in the preparation of the shavings so it is completely safe however I would out of a personal preference I would prefer to use paper bedding over shavings one of the reasons for that is because of the fact that they can get dry skin and everything but also that I have three long haired piggies and if they had shavings it would get in all of their fur and it would be an absolute nightmare so that is also another benefit of the paper based bedding a lot of them generally don't stick to the guinea pig's fur and I have had the Carefresh for probably over a month now and the girls hardly ever get any Carefresh in their fur. Again I'm going to have to put up some pictures of some wood based pellet litters and show you a bit more about those. Wood based pellet litters are a type of bedding which generally looks like little round kind of cylindrical pellets and these come in different materials but a lot of them are wood based or compressed straw I found a few that of brands online whilst doing my research which were smart beds in the UK which look like a, a good brand however people have said that it is quite a hard bedding on their guinea pig's feet so it should be used in conjunction with either hay or a type of another type of paper based bedding on top in the soft bedding areas. These pellets are meant to be really really absorbent and I would recommend them for smaller areas in a cage i.e. a litter tray instead of a whole main cage just because of the minor points about that their feet can get quite sore and it's not overly soft. People also have said that it's quite difficult to spot clean just because of the fact that the guinea pig's poos can go in between all of the pellets and it's obviously a bit more difficult to determine whereas if another fleece or another type of bedding was of a lighter colour it's a lot lot easier to see. Two common beddings that a lot of people use for their guinea pigs are straw and hay. Now straw and hay are generic beddings and I think that because they've been around for so many years a lot of people in pet shops suggest it for your guinea pigs and your bunnies. Now for bunny straw is not so bad and it's actually a nice bedding for them however you have to be careful of straw pokes in their eye but for guinea pigs straw is far too thick and hard and it can really really create massive problems with them getting straw pokes and such like that so straw is not recommended at all for guinea pigs and therefore should be avoided it is not absorbent at all so when you are going to be using straw with your bunny for instance you would want to have newspaper beneath that so it would catch more of the urine and everything like that with hay some people just use newspaper and hay and I know this is an old fashioned way, however I would suggest that on an overall scale on your cage you should be using something that's far more absorbent such as a paper type bedding or even the aspen shavings. With the hay it is not absorbent at all and obviously it is more of a food product for guinea pigs and they do love to lay in hay and it is recommended to give them hay piles and things like that because they do have lots and lots of fun with it and they like to lay in it and eat it at the same time. So I do suggest giving your guinea pigs hay to play in and just sit in regardless of obviously eating it because every guinea pig as we should know by now should be given 24-7 access to hay, it should be unlimited. Now with the hay, if you are going to give it to your guinea pigs, you're going to need to change it out daily just because hay is not absorbent and it can get soiled and messy quite quickly so it's best to take it out because you don't want to create more problems for your guinea pigs because there are many many different illnesses that can arrive because of this. A common one is a urinary tract infection if the bedding is very very soiled and this is something definitely to be avoided when it can be. Another type of bedding that I've kind of touched on is newspaper. It is not recommended just to use newspaper all alone. You want to use it in conjunction with a different type of substrate, ideally a paper based or something like the aspen shavings or again a paper pellet based litter. 
So these kind of litters in conjunction with newspaper can work really well and it also makes it much easier when you're cleaning them out. You can kind of roll it into a cylinder and it's a lot, lot quicker to clean out your guinea pig's cage. One of the last types of beddings are fleece and vet bed. Fleece is now becoming a very, very common bedding for guinea pigs, especially in larger cages like CNC cages. This is because it is very, very economical. You pay out your one payment first and then it will last you a very, very, very long time as long as you care for your fleece properly. Now, because fleece is a special kind of bedding, you need to be able to have the time to care for it and it needs to be spot cleaned at least twice a day ideally and if any more, it would be great. The reason for this is because fleece is just a flat material so the poos and everything cannot kind of like hide at the bottom of a substrate instead so this means that your guinea pig will be sitting straight on top of their poos and this is why it has to be spot cleaned twice a day where the poos will be swept up. What happens with fleece bedding with the urine, a lot of people ask me this question, is they say do they not go to the toilet on this fleece? Now, yes they do, my girls are definitely not potty trained, although when I have noticed, having put the kitchen area in, they have definitely gone to the toilet more so in that area. But with fleece, what happens is you need a type of polar fleece, ideally, on the top layer, which is just like this, and when a guinea pig would wee, the water or the urine would just go straight through this layer, it would totally absorb it straight away and it would go into the absorbent layer between. Now on this liner I have two layers of fleece, so I have the one side and the back side and in between this, this has got the U-Haul pad inside which is an absorbent material. You could use towels, Zorb. The system of fleece bedding is extremely similar to reusable baby diapers or nappies, whatever you like to call them, but um, it basically means that the urine will go pass through this first layer of fleece and rest in the middle layer where it will stay there. That means that the top layer of this fleece where the piggy has weed, it will remain dry and it will be nice and soft and dry for the organic pig to sit on, which means that they won't be sitting in a wet area. So this is why fleece is such a popular material now for guinea pigs bedding and it is really really great. The other reason that fleece is becoming way more popular is again as you can see with this fleece that it is patterned. So you can get many different patterns where you can personalise your cage and this is a preference of mine along with the fact that my girls really really do enjoy fleece. I find that they popcorn more on fleece compared to when I had them on the substrate because I think because it's not loose on their feet that they're not pushing the substrate behind them when they're running that they can just run on top of this and it's not going to move and spook them. I find that fleece is very very easy to look after as long as you have got enough time to do this. It requires you would want to clean out your cage at least once a week with a full clean. You would want to have extra pads as well in high traffic areas so where they are weeing more that they're not going to get sodden and the guinea pig's not going to be sitting in soil bedding. Fleece needs to be cared for by washing it on a reasonably high temperature but not overly high because there have been cases of it melting which is definitely a risk that you want to avoid. Fleece needs to be washed with a guinea pig safe washing powder. It also needs to not be washed with softener. Softener actually creates more of a barrier so that the urine can't absorb down into the middle layer. The urine will just pool on top and it will just be like a little lake of water and it won't go down into the middle and therefore your guinea pig can come and sit on that and it will be soaking wet. I will probably do a separate video about how to make sure that your fleece is wicked. however I will link Abby from Skinny Pigs 1 video down below because she has done many videos on fleece and I do remember her doing one on if your what looks like what your fleece looks like when it's wicking and when it isn't. I have also known people to use just fleece fabric, so not a liner, just one of these sides on its own. And I've known people to have wood-based pellets underneath, which is also another great way of combining having a substrate but also having the nice softness and the patterns that you can get with fleece. 
so this means that it is a lot lot easier to care for and clean so your fleece would be you would only have to wash your top layer and the wood based pellets you would change out as and when and do spot cleans underneath the fleece. Someone who I know who does this is Heather from Love at First Week and I will again link her YouTube but also her Instagram down below where you can see because I th do think she has a few videos and also a few photos of what hers looks like underneath. Vet bed is a very very similar kind of material to fleece and a lot of people use it in conjunction. So vet bed is a really really soft material and I probably will have to put some photos on to show you exactly what it looks like but vet bed is very very soft and it's more of like a fluffy texture and all it does is allow your the wee from your guinea pig to soak through like fleece does but you do need an absorbent layer beneath that. The reason you need that absorbent layer beneath the vet bed is because vet bed is not absorbent itself, all it does is allow the urine to pass through it and keep the top layer of it dry. So I personally wouldn't use vet bed all over my cage just because of the fact it gets a lot of hay and bits of other bits and bobs in it and it could be a bit more difficult to clean up rather than this really short pile material which is polar fleece. So after all of those bits of information that I've just given you I would highly suggest you go check out guinealinks.com which is the website I mentioned earlier where they also list down the pros and the cons of each type of bedding which makes it a lot more easier a lot easier for you to kind of read through and see which one you are going to go for but I would highly suggest that anyone who has guinea pigs or bunnies or any type of small animals does have a think about what bedding their guinea pig is on and has a look at what could be an improvement if so as owners we are always looking to improve our animals care and so that is why it is always good to keep up with research about your bedding and make sure it is suitable for the animal intended for. So I hope some of you got some good information about this and also can take something from this video. If you've got any queries or any advice down below that would be great and I'd love to have a read through. So thank you so much for watching and I shall speak to my next one. Bye!